it smells like dead bodies in here. Whoa. Hello, my name is Karina Bonner and I'm a professional puppet and prop maker and today I'm going to show you how to make a plague doctor's mask. To make a plague doctor mask you need these materials, some thickish PVC or pleather, string, scissors, I've got some coloured acetate there for my eyes, a stapler, a pencil and some black card. Ooh, and gaffer tape. So our first step is to take this pleather PVC material and fold it in half. Now, what I like to do is use a sewing machine just to run a stitch along the top of the line there and then cut away my beak shape. So roughly mark out how your beak is going to be shaped on top of your material. And then all you've got to do is pass that through the sewing machine. Don't cut away anything until after you've stitched. Once you've run that stitch along, cut away all of this excess to get your beak shape and then take your beak and push it down flat. Now you're going to pop it through the sewing machine one more time and just pop a stitch along this outer edge that'll shape your beak like this and give it a nice sturdy structure. Once that's done, you just turn it upside down and again run a stitch along the bottom seam and that completes your beak shape. To make your mask shape, I recommend folding your paper in half and drawing a curve shape for the top of the mask. Then position an eye hole and cut this away. To get your eye hole out, just stab through the paper, turn your scissors and cut out some neat circular eye holes. Once you've got that ready, just open it out and we're ready to pop in our acetate. This acetate just colors the lenses of the eyes so it makes it look a little bit more creepy. And I believe they used to have goggles back in the day. So I just cut that acetate down and I'm going to strap it down with a bit of gaffer tape. So you repeat this again with the other eye. Once that's all stuck down, take your beak and position it roughly where it should go along the face. This will give you a good indication as to how high up you need to cut away. So you just need to make a nice triangular cut at the bottom of the face to then pop your beak in. Once you've cut that away, turn your mask over, open your beak out. Because your beak will be stitched together, it'll hold itself fast, but all you need to do is connect it to the front of the face. So, using a little bit of gaffer tape, attach your beak on the front of your mask. So once your beak is attached, it should look something like this. And now we're just ready to pop on our string to connect it up to our face. Just hold the string in the position where you'd like that to hold to your face. And pop as many staples as you feel it takes to get that nice and sturdy. Repeat the same again on the other side. And in order for these not to get in your way, just pop a little bit more masking tape down and secure them.
Then just take the string and tie a knot at the back once you know how small or big you want it to be. And that is how you make a plague doctor's mask. <laughs>